Hey YouTube, Zach here, the Professional Nerd. Today, we're going to be building this. Okay, so here are all the parts for the 3D scanner uh, laid out. We are going to go ahead and start building it. We are going to take this 3D printed part, place the bearing inside, and place these parts all the way around it, like such. Then we're going to flip it over, and we're going to put through these screws. And it looks like we also are going to be putting on a nut on each one. So yes, a nut goes on each one. Okay, and then this thing it's placed over top like such. Just like that. Now we're going to just put some screws or uh, nuts on the end of these threaded rods. There's a couple inches in on each side. And the and then on one side of the longer rods, we just need to bring it down a little bit farther than the rest. Because we need them to line up, or we're just gonna be lining them up with this. Started around just has um, a little bit of. It's gonna need a little bit of shaving because it this nut won't go on because the way it was cut. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just grab um, something or just try and try another nut. Nope. So yeah, I'm just gonna go grab a, a wrench or something so I can just break it through because of the way that this was uh, cut, it wasn't. It wasn't clean like the other ones, so I'm gonna go ahead and just fix that. Now we're gonna take these and we're gonna slip uh, nuts into these. Just figure, uh, slide it in. And in this one, in these two holes, like such. And then in this one, you're going to take the two long rods, place it through this one, just screw all of it in, so we can get it up. 
And then we just do it. The same thing over here with this one. Except we need to put the nuts in this one, in here, and in here. And just bring that connection up. I'm just going to loosen it. We're just going to tighten these all up. Okay, so I'll come back once I have these all tightened up. Okay, so I have this assembly all tightened up and ready. So I'll set this to the side. We're now going to do the same thing to the smaller ones. We're just going to put them on shortly. And we're going to do it to both sides. Okay, we then take this assembly and inside this little hole we will drop down a nut and line it up correctly. Drops in, drop down a second one. Okay, drop in one on this side and another one. Okay, so we're then now going oh we loosen this up a lot more. Going to then just screw it in and tighten it in. Like such. And I'll do that to all of them and we'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and attached these and tightened all these screws, all the nuts. I am now going to take the uh, lasers and just unscrew this little screw that's in this. and tighten it in. And this is gonna run through here, there's a hole here. Goes through the hole. And then there's another hole that's gonna go through here and it's gonna come through the back here. And I'm gonna do that with both lasers. Okay, so now with all that, with, all the, with both lasers attached, uh, you now are going to take the USB of the, to the webcam, pull it through, and like such, push the webcam down into it like this. Now I'll flip it around. As you can see, all this stuff is like this. We are now going to take the uh, PCB or and the Arduino, and that's just going to get pushed in just like just like that. And the lasers will go on these pins up here. One here, the other here. This is going to get routed like such. This is going to get through the bottom, come out through like this. Because this is what this is going to hook up to your computer, and this is just going to go around. Arduino setup. If you just actually take out the Arduino, push it around like that, push it through. Once again, line up the holes, 
not pull it down here, let's push it into place. Okay, and now that's all placed in. This goes in like this. So then we can take these little wires, uh, harness holder, or wire holders, place the wires into it, place it onto this. And then we're going to take this stepper motor wire, hook it up to the stepper motor, have it go all the way through here, up through here, and onto this pin just like this. Once again, some more of these wire holders, which actually do not fit those wires. Ah, actually no, they do. So then you have this, have another down here, and that is pretty much this build. So then all you're going to do is take, you have your power cable. I'll just get fed through here, fed through the opening once again, and plugged in to the DC barrel jack. And then this assembly will just get pushed on like that. This will get screwed together. Drop your screws in. Take these screws, push them in, and screw it all together. And then you'll um, glue this grid onto it. Cut it out, glue it on. This is gonna then we'll go, you go through and just set it on this, sit down here, and it will spin. And this computer software will then be able to be calibrated with that. So, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this That was the entire build of this, and there will be future videos on using this and this some of the results I get from it. So, please like, comment, and subscribe.